Hello and welcome. You're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Abigail R. Khan Malim bringing to the Slation News across the globe. One of the strategic objectives of the Slation Social America Network, RASS, is to promote effective communication of social works, which leads to the visibility of Slation action and raises society's awareness of the reduction of social inequalities. For this reason, RASS is committed to promoting networking with the communication sector of the Salation Congregation and is in close contact with Father Ricardo Campoli, Salation Social Communication Coordinator for America and with the Social Communication Team of America, ECSA. During the International Communication Conference Shaping Tomorrow, Rome, 1st to 7th August 2024, the representatives of RASS had a meeting with the ECSA team with Father Rafael Bejanaro, Head of Salation Works and Social Services within the Youth Ministry sector and with Father Campoli, in which they spoke of the importance of collaborating with the communication sector to make the social impact of Salation Works visible, especially in assisting the social population in a situation of one. Missioner Salisianis, the Salation Mission Office based in Madrid, Spain, reiterates its commitment to the fight against poverty. More than 1.3 billion people in the world live below the poverty line and more than 700 live in conditions of extreme poverty. On the International Day for the Eradication of Poverty, which is celebrated today, 17 October, the Salation Institution declares, Our tool is education. I studied sewing for four years, I graduated and I managed to set up my own business in Porto Novo. And today I can support my family, says Lukman Ajibola proudly. Lukman is of Nigerian origin and his life has not been easy. He never went to school and his father left him at the age of 10 with a tailor to learn the trade. But there he was mistreated and barely fed. That's why he ran away and went to Benin. There at the foyer Don Bosco, Salation work in Porto Novo, he met the Salations who offered him education, food and assistance, as also to hundreds of other miners like Lukman. On 10 October, the Don Bosco Technical Institute in Cebu, Philippines, hosted a meeting of six Salation novices who participated in the Day of Group activity. The event was facilitated by Father Rooney John G. Under, Youth Ministry Delegate of the Salation Province of the Southern Philippines. The purpose of the meeting was to improve the teamwork, cross and communication of the novices, all fundamental components for their future roles within the congregation. The participants took part in group work, team building activities and a series of games. The novices also shared their thoughts and experiences. The day ended with a reflection and the group prayer focused on the shared spiritual journey. The activity highlighted the Salation spirituality of the committee, family spirit, fraternal love and holiness in daily life, all essential foundations of a strong religious community. On 11 October, Don Bosco, Anbu Ilam in Salem, in proud collaboration with the District Unit for the Protection of Children in Salem, commemorated the International Day of Girls held under the global theme, The Vision of Girls for the Future. This annual event, established by the United Nations in 2012, focuses on solving critical issues such as gender inequality, child marriage and the lack of access to education and health care for girls. This day serves as a reminder that it is necessary to fight for equal opportunities and to protect the rights of children around the world. In a significant demonstration of solidarity, over 500 participants gathered in key locations in the Salem district of Tamil Nadu. Together, they participated in the signature campaign to highlight the urgent need to safeguard girls' dreams and ambitions, especially when they face the growing challenges of climate change, conflict and poverty. The event was a great success and received strong support from multiple institutions such as the police and the Department of Labor. Don Bosco Anbu Ilam expressed gratitude to all those who participated, 
urging everyone to continue working together to empower girls and create a community that nurtures hope and opportunities. Salation Missions, the U.S. development arm of the Salations of Don Bosco, joins humanitarian organizations and countries around the globe in honoring the International Day for the Eradication of Poverty, held on October 17 each year. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the International Day for the Eradication of Poverty and the 35th anniversary of the World Day to Overcome Extreme Poverty. The United Nations has noted that by the end of 2022, 8.4% of the world's population, or as many as 670 million people, were living in extreme poverty. By 2030, it's expected that 7% of the global population, around 575 million people, could still find themselves trapped in extreme poverty, surviving on less than 2.15 per person per day. Salation missionaries around the globe are focused on helping people living in poverty find a pathway out. Salations build wells in communities without water, feed starving children, provide medical care and other basic necessities, and educate, which is their primary goal. Working in more than 5,500 Salation educational institutions and youth centres around the globe, missionaries educate children in some of the poorest places on the planet. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.